So, so we're gonna. What I will do, everybody. Thanks, everybody, for for coming. Oh, come on! You're welcome to come to the tour. Come on for the tour. Okay, you're welcome to come. And um, so, what we're gonna do, everyone. Hi, hi. Thanks for coming, everybody. Um, is we're gonna do the a tour of the wall. And thank. By the way, thank. Happy Mad Pride Day for everybody as well. So, um, thanks everybody for coming to the to this to the wall tour. Um, and so, what I'm going to do is going to give a history of the wall at Queen Street, and for the next uh, a couple of hours, and it goes all around the whole perimeter of the wall. And we'll get away from the street soon enough, so you won't have all of this racket. And I'm glad to say. I've done this every every Psych Survivor and Mad Pride Day since 2000, and I've done it other times outside. This is now the 37th tour, and it has never been rained out, not once. <laughs> I've never had to cancel a tour, so I'm very happy that it's. Uh, uh, thanks for everybody coming, and for for oh, here's some more friends coming too. Hi, Graham hey, and now. Helen. So, oh, hi, hi, Bonnie. So, hi there. We're just starting. Um, so, okay, so the wall tour is starting now. And so what I was wanted to do is, to, as I say, give the wall tour for the next couple hours. So we'll be going all around the wall and I'll talk about the history of the wall, that, about the history of the patients who lived behind it and built it. And um, if you have any questions or comments, you're welcome to ask them. And the, the purpose is to remember the people who, who lived on this site for over, uh, over 150, the last 158 years. Um, if we were here a hundred years ago, there wouldn't, we wouldn't see that street there. There would be a 16-foot wall right there. Um, there is a 16-foot wall in there up to the 70s when it was torn down. And um, that was built by patient laborers. And we'll see other examples of the wall that are still in existence. But originally the wall was built uh, in 1860 and another part 1888-89. But had we been patients here a hundred years ago, we would be behind a wall all surrounding the whole uh, circumference of the property. And, um, and that was there till the 70s? Till the ninth, that, on the north side or on the 1970s, to, to the 1970s when they tore it down. Um, and originally, they, they also built this um, building here. The, um, this part of the building was, was built in the 50s. But there, was, um, there were other, oh hi Brian, you're welcome to come to the wall tour. Thanks. Nice to see you. Oh, hi Ruth. Nice to see you. So what I'll do is I'll take people around. Before I do that, um, if what if you were here 150 years ago, their patient labor has been here for over 158 years. Remember, since this site opened, that plaque over there talks about the facility being opened in 1850, and. Um, there's been all sorts of other history that's happened here since then. And remember, <coughs> the original tour, the original asylum, oh, when it opened on this spot, this was way out in the countryside. You wouldn't have heard all this traffic. Well, obviously, they didn't have cars back then, but you wouldn't have had any urban traffic at all. This was out in the countryside, three miles west of the downtown. This the west downtown was way far that way. So it was originally way out in the country, and it wasn't until 1879 when this, by that time the city had caught up with, this, uh, uh, up with the old asylum and passed it when Parkdale was founded. And so um, originally the first couple of decades it was out in the country but it didn't last very long and the idea was that an asylum was to be a place supposedly of retreat from troubles but it became anything, but if anything it became a place where people were, were very much troubled by the environment in which they lived including having to do an enormous amount of work Hi, Brian. Nice to see you. And um, so originally, um, the first one of the first examples of patient labor uh, was patient. Yep, yeah, it's good to see you too. Was they had patient labor right on the site, Brian and everybody else. That happened in the 1853-54. They had patient laborers were were forced to um, reconnect. Uh, or to clean up the basement, which uh, because the pipes were disconnected in 1853-54, they found that there was a huge smell coming from the basement. Well, they they went and they went underneath the basement, and there was a huge um, depths, several feet deep, 
of, of sewage because the pipes had been disconnected. Well, guess who they had clean it up? The patients did it. <laughs> Isn't that dreadful? Yeah. Patients did it for no pay at all. Um, certainly they had oh, to have I'm someone clean it Yes, that's right, Brian. But certainly they should have had someone clean it up, but the patients were made to, to clean it up, and it, some of them got very sick doing it. Uh, Daniel, uh, Joseph Workman, after whom they named Workman Theatre, was the superintendent at that time. And um, he actually wrote about it being, quote, reeking filth, and they had to cut it, they had to take the filth and cut it into bricks of ice and haul it and dump it into Lake Ontario. And that was patients who did that for no, no labor. That was one of the earliest examples of patient labor. So I'll give you plenty of other examples. Um, we're standing on a, a wooden or a cement sidewalk, but originally wooden sidewalks were laid here, Brian, uh, and, and everybody else. Wooden sidewalks were laid here, and uh, the result of that um, was that patients were the ones who did the original work, who, who laid wooden sidewalks. So had we been here 120 years ago, it would have been mostly wooden sidewalks that were laid by patients, very much so. So what, pardon me? that book later. Yes, yeah, the book, that, that would be fine, Brian. Oh, hi, Mark. So, yes, yeah, we, yeah, what you can do, I'll go on the wall tour, okay? We can talk about that book then. Okay, so yeah, that's right. So what I'll do now is that we'll go over to the east side and go um, and talk about women's patients labor there. It and you, it'll be two hours, so about eight o'clock. Okay. Um, ten eight. Uh, no, I'd say ten after eight. Okay. Okay. So um, so the next walk. So I'll take you on the tour. It will take a couple hours, and we'll start on the east side, going on the women's side of the wall tour where the where all the women worked on this side okay and we'll get away from the traffic so you can actually hear my voice so if you could please follow me this way thanks very much okay. I, and yes the tour, we're going to have one of the trees over on this side decorated and okay. all of the people on the tour are invited to stay for that brief memorial did you okay. want me to announce it or did you yes. announce it to them? no we can announce it over here Okay, you select the tree for us so we know. Oh, we I, I would yeah. show you something here quickly. Oh,